Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this beautiful Saturday. Today we're talking about something pretty different from what I usually get into on this channel. Lately I've been obsessed with electric vehicles. Now while I don't quite make enough money to own a Tesla, I did start researching there's quite a few electric vehicles that I can afford. So over the next couple months on this channel, I want to be able to show you all the cool vehicles that you can get at an affordable price. I still plan on making the cool mountain bike content that we're used to, but if adventure bikes, electric bikes, electric scooters sounds like your style, then stick around. I'd love to have you around here. So for my first foray into the whole electric vehicle world, I wanted to find the absolute cheapest yet quality electric vehicle that someone could buy as a natural option for transportation or transportation for transportation or just to have fun. And that led me to the GoTrack GXL V2 with handbrake. When I bought this new, it was only $250, but now it's even cheaper. You can get a refurbished version for only $199. Now they promise a nine to 12 mile range with the scooter, as well as a top speed of 15.5 miles an hour. Now I might be getting a little ahead of myself, but I am about 245 pounds, so me being on the scooter, I did not get it close to that, but I was very impressed with how, how much it actually did, because I think going, even going like slightly uphill, I was still about 14, but anyone lighter than me, I'm sure this could live up to the speed. Now the range, I'm not quite sure it's um, accurate. I'd say it's closer to about seven miles. So now let's head outside. I'll give you a quick tour. We'll take it for a quick ride and hopefully you can decide if this is something you want. Stand one button here. This is where you plug it in to charge it. Pretty easy to charge it. So just one button it's on. If you tap it, that's the headlight right here, which is a cool addition. It works pretty well. And now it has two modes. So one, I believe tops out at nine miles per hour, maybe 10. And then if you long press it, it goes into mode two and that's where you can get up to 15. Again, I'm a little bit bigger of a guy. I can only get up to about 14 on this, but let's hop on let's go for a quick ride. Notice this hill here, I can never get up it. Or I can, but it goes really slow. So I always kick to get up it. So this is flat land, like I said, about 14 miles per hour. downhill we'll see how fast we can get it going Woo. I got scared trying to film <laughs> film it while going and I had to put my other hand on but yeah we hit like 22 miles an hour so that is the GXL V2. Now, they do have a new version of this out now that I'm seeing here. Um, and it is similar, it's similarly priced at around the 270 to $300 range. There's the Apex and there's the GXL. Now, both of these are, you know, they dress it up and they make it sound a little better, but looking at the stats, this is the exact same scooter. So if I were you, I would just buy the refurbished one. Now here's the bad part, but also the good part. So my scooter broke probably with less than maybe 25 miles on it. I was very disappointed but I gotta give it up for the customer service at GoTrax because I emailed them, I, I let them know how upset I was, but they were really quick to not only send me a new motor, but a new battery too. Um, I 
think they even sent me a new wheel or I bought that, I can't remember. Um, which reminds me, I bought a wheel, hopefully, um, and it is the honeycomb, like you can't pop it because I popped a tire and it is impossible to get on. I've looked at forums. The closest thing I saw was this guy who would put it in a, a bucket of boiling water and then stretched it around the rim. And I'm like, no. <laughs> the bike, the local bike shop I went to, they just said, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so I have an extra tire, I guess. <laughs> and now it's time for my final thoughts on this scooter. Who's it for? I started this video and I was gonna say, could you use this for everyday commute? And I just don't think it's reliable enough. Like I said, mine broke and even though the customer service like fixed it for me, I don't wanna be stranded on my way to work. Even if I only work like five miles away, I don't wanna be late for my job or um, I don't know, be stranded. Nobody wants to be stranded. So I gotta say, I don't think it's a reliable mode of transportation but it is very affordable too. So if you're willing to risk it, that might work because you could just bring the charger in your, you know, in your work bag and charge it while you're at work and get it there and back. So who is this for? I think it's for someone who just wants to have fun. Probably a pretty fun gift for your kids if they're maybe a teenager age because like I said, there's the two different modes. You can have it in light mode or, or fast mode and. I don't think anyone could get really too hurt as long as you're wearing your helmet. So I think that's probably the market for this scooter. Now, if you're an adult and you're using this as a real like form of transportation, I'd maybe spend a little more money, get a nice reliable e-bike or um, you know, maybe even just a regular bike. So hopefully this was enough to help you make a decision. Uh, but thanks for watching this one. I'll see you around.